This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. It is 4th of July, so why not test my co-host with some 4th of July trivia. And if they get it wrong, well, what's more American than a pie in the face? So this morning we have Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> and we have Abe Lincoln, one of our uh, former presidents. How are you doing? Good. Oh, not too bad. All right. Are you ready? So the rules of the game are you must raise your hand. And if I call on you, then you can answer the question. No shouting out or you will get a pie in the face. No buzzers? Oh. No buzzers. We're not that, <laughs> we're not that high tech. <laughs> two, you have two seconds to answer. If you get it right, you're safe. We'll go on to the next question. If you get it wrong, you get a pie in the face, and we go on to the next question. <laughs> All righty. Are you ready? Yes. Sure am. Question number one. And what patterns were the stars on our first flag? A square, B grid, C circle. Rosie. Circle. Correct. Oh. All right, question number two. When did Congress declare the 4th of July a national holiday? A, 1776, B, 1870, C, 1892. A. B. Correct. Yes. Question three. How tall is the Statue of Liberty? A, 95 feet, B, 113 feet, or C, 151 feet? Oh, B, 113 feet? You are... Wrong. <laughs> it's actually 151 feet. <laughs> Question four: Who invented fireworks? A Japanese. Or excuse me. A Americans. B Japanese. C Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese. Correct. <laughs> Question five: How many people signed the Declaration of Independence? A 32. B 56. C 100. <laughs> Rosie. B 56. Correct. Question six. Which two states have ice cream as their state dessert? A, Virginia and Missouri. B, South and North Carolina. Or C, Oklahoma and Texas. You don't Have know? you? Nope. <laughs> Virginia and Missouri? Correct. Question seven. How many hot dogs are consumed on average each year on the 4th of July? A, 100 million. B, 150. Or C, 200. Uh, B, 150 million. You're correct. <laughs> Question eight. <laughs> Which president was born on July 4th? Thomas Jefferson, B, Benjamin Franklin, or C, Calvin Coolidge? Let's go with... C, Calvin Coolidge? Do you know what year? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to consider that wrong. 1872. <laughs> Question nine. Who was the first person to sign the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock. <laughs> Correct. Question 10. What are the first words of the Declaration of Independence? What were the rules? Do not raise your hand until I read all questions. <laughs> Question 10. <laughs> what are the first words of the Declaration of Independence? A. When the course of human events. B. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Or C. We the people of the United States. A. <laughs> Rosie is correct. <laughs> there you go, folks. Apparently, our president doesn't know that much when it comes to 4th of July. <laughs> Four score and we seven years ago. <laughs> so, should we give Rosie a pie in the face? Please? <laughs> I'll let you do the honor. Just be oh, gentle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, my friends. That is our 4th of July <laughs> celebration right here on Good Morning Heartland. Again, thank you so much for joining us. There are events still planned for today in case of rain in the forecast, which there shouldn't be any rain, according to Abe Lincoln. Our there stage. might be some different locations for those 4th of July events. Again, we hope you have a fabulous 4th of July. Head on over to KTVO.com to register for our contest taking place today. And, of course, to check out all the events taking place today in and around the heartland. Again, thank you so much. We hope you have a fabulous day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> 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 if you didn't have to do guidance, I was going to...